we're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 4, Working with Document Backgrounds. So we're going to practice changing the background of our document a little bit. So with the New Adventures Approved document open, we're going to click on the Design tab. We're going to go over here to our Page Background group. And we're going to find the watermark icon and click on it. And it's going to give us some preset watermarks in here, but we're actually going to create our own custom watermark. So down below, I'm going to click on the custom watermark option. It's going to open up a dialog box for me, and it's going to give me some options. So currently selected is no watermark. There, I could add a picture watermark, but I want to add a text watermark. So I'm going to click on that. You're going to see I have some different options here, different fields. In the text option, currently it says ASAP. I'm going to click that, or select that, and remove it, and instead type internal use only. Now I made sure to capitalize each word, because that's the way Jasper has it in the instructions. I also want to change the font. So currently it's Calibri. I'm going to click this drop down and I want to find the Arial black font. So I'm going to scroll up to the A's. There's Arial. Now you're going to see there's a lot of different Arial selections. I want to make sure I have Arial black. And then I also want to change the color. So currently it's set as gray. I'm going to click this drop down and under the standard colors option, I want to select green and click OK. Now you're going to see I have this watermark in the background and it shows up on every single page. And it's green, it's aerial black. I'm going to mark as answer to go to step two. We're going to use uh, the zoom functions down here to reduce our zoom to approximately 60%. So you can either grab the zoom slider bar and drag it over to the left till it's about 60, or you can use the minus sign, and then that will move it in increments of 10. And now we can see what this looks like. And then I want to change my zoom back to 100. So again, you can click and drag, or you can use the plus sign. Get it back to 100%. Mark that step as answered. Let's go to step three. And we should still be on the design tab. We're going to go back to the page background and we're going to change the background color. Now this is where sometimes it can get a little bit tricky because in the instructions you're going to see it says to click olive green, accent 3, lighter 80%. So if I click on page color, it's going to open up my palette. Now down here, here's our standard colors. Those are typically the ones that are just going to be the name of the color or maybe dark or light. Up here under theme colors, this is where all these percentages come in. So you're going to see we have all of these different variations of specific colors. So in this case, I'm looking for olive green accent three, which is right here, but I want lighter 80%. So as you hover, you're going to see it tells you what they are. Right? There's the one I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And that's going to apply this light green. You can kind of see how that looks. I'm going to try a different color. So go to page color. Now this time we're going to look for blue, accent one, lighter 60%. But you're going to notice we have a couple of different blue colors on here. So if I hover over this one, that's aqua, accent five. There's blue accent one. That's the one I'm looking for. And then I'm looking for lighter 60%. So if I go down two squares, there's the one I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and apply that color and see what that looks like. I don't ultimately want a color on the background, so I'm going to go back to page color, click on it, and down below standard colors, I'm going to select the no color option. There we go. I do want to add a page border to this. So in that same section, I'm going to click on page borders. 
And you're going to see I have some different options here, including here's my preview pane. So over in the settings section, I want to make sure I select box border because I want it to just be a rectangle around my whole page. So I'm going to click on box border and you'll see in the preview pane, that's going to show you an example. I want to add an art border to this. So in the center section, I'm going to find art border. I'm going to click on the drop down and I want to find the gray diamonds pattern. Now, this is one of those spots where hovering doesn't tell you what the name of things are, um, but Jasper has let us know that it's about halfway down on the list. So I can use my vertical scroll bar here and grab it and drag it about halfway down and then use my arrows to move my way down. There it is. That's the one I'm looking for right there. I'm going to click on it. And look at your preview pane and you can see how that's giving you an example of what that border is going to look like. I want it to be a little skinnier than the one that's here. So I'm going to go and change my width from 12 to 8. So I just click that down arrow until it gets to 8. That looks okay. I'm going to click OK and see what it looks like. There's my border. I'm going to zoom out to 50%. So go ahead and zoom out to 50% to see what that looks like. I want to change the way that these borders look. So we're going to go back to page borders, open up that dialog box, and in our preview section, you're going to see we have these little squares right here. And these are indicating, it's kind of hard to see, but they're indicating each side of our border. So if I take those off, you're going to see that all of the border has disappeared. But I can also add it back in. Now I want to remove the sides. So I'm going to make sure that's not selected and that's not selected. So only the top and the bottom are selected, but my left and right sides are open. And then I'm going to click OK. And now you'll see I have this nice border that's just along the top and along the bottom of my page. I'm going to mark that as answered. And I'm going to zoom back in. For step four, we're going to apply a style set. So on the design tab in the document formatting group, that's right here, uh, we're going to click on the more button to display the style set. So here's our style sets here. I'm going to click on that more button. And then I'm just going to hover and watch how my document changes as I hover over some of these different design presets. Ultimately, I want to find the shaded one. It looks like um, it's got a blue rectangle across it. And I'm going to select that and apply it to my document. And you can see how some things have changed. I'm going to mark that as answered. Go to step five. For five, we're going to add a theme to it. So our themes button is right here. And if I click drop down, you're going to see there's a gallery here. And again, I can hover over it. So I have my design, but I might want to change the theme, which might be different fonts, different colors. And as I hover over these, I want to find the facet option and select that. And then mark as answered and submit. 